This is the case of an 83-year-old man with a past medical history significant for Parkinson's disease, diabetes, hypertension, COPD, who underwent a total gastrectomy for adenocarcinoma in 2017. In July 2019, he was admitted to the hospital for acute cholangitis secondary to cholecystocholidocolithiasis. ERCP was not performed due to the altered anatomy and a percutaneous transhepatic internal external drainage was carried out in emergency. The drain was replaced four weeks later for recurrent cholangitis. The patient was scheduled for spyglass percutaneous transhepatic cholangoscopy guided lithotripsy. First, an intraparity 3D cholangiography was performed with the Zigo robotic surgical C arm system, detecting multiple stone in the common bile duct. A terumohydrophilic angle guide wire was inserted in the common bile duct through the existing 7 French percutaneous transhepatic drainage that was subsequently removed. A four French angiographic catheter was then inserted in order to help the passage of the guide wire into the duodenum. After removing the angiographic catheter, a 12 French vascular shift introducer was placed over the guide wire in the biliary tree to allow the insertion of a spy scope. A second stiff guide wire was then inserted and pushed into the CBD. The vascular shift introducer was switched on the stiff guide wire while the hydrophilic guide wire with the distal tip in the duodenum was left in place to secure access. The Spyscope DS cholangoscope from Boston Scientific was then advanced into the CBD under fluoroscopic and direct visualization. Once the stone was visualized, the electrohydraulic probe was used to perform stone lithotripsy under direct vision. Saline was used to irrigate. The conductive properties of saline allow the electrohydraulic lithotripsy to function properly. After lithotripsy, floating multiple stone fragments are visible. An 8 mm 4 cm balloon dilation catheter was then introduced in the CBD to dilate the papilla. After dilation, the balloon was used to push the remaining stone's fragments into the duodenum. The CBD was inspected carefully once again with the spy scope, starting from the duodenum, then visualizing the papilla from the inside, going backwards to the proximal CBD. Here, other small stones were detected and treated by electrohydraulic lithotripsy. 
To obtain a correct fragmentation of the stones, the position of the distal tip of the probe has to be 1 to 2 mm from the surface of the stone itself for optimal pressure. At the end of the procedure, iodate contrast was injected in the CBD and a final 3D cholangiography was performed, confirming the absence of residual stone. A 10.2 French biliary internal-external drainage was left in place for 48 hours after the procedure.